Morning, everyone. Welcome to Breakfast this Sunday morning with Roger Johnson and Rachel Byrne. Morning, our headlines today. 100... Morning, it's Sunday, December the 18th. Our main story today, then, is that unions have criticised government plans to draft in troops to cover staffing shortfalls during ambulance and border force strikes over Christmas. 1,200 military personnel are being called up, along with 1,000 civil servants, but unions say that they are not sufficiently trained. Meanwhile, the nursing union, the RCN, has said it will announce further strike dates for January if the government continues its refusal to discuss pay. Our political correspondent Ian Watson has the latest on the disputes. A vigil has been held for four boys who died after falling into a frozen lake in Solihull. The accident happened a week ago at Babs Mill Park, where hundreds of people gathered yesterday to pay tribute. Natasha Turney was there. Now, Ukraine's President Zelensky says that the country has managed to restore power to almost six million people after massive Russian strikes against electricity generating systems. Ukrainian officials said Russia fired more than 70 missiles on Friday, forcing emergency blackouts nationwide. You go... The family of a woman who died after being injured at a gig in South London say that she was full of care, kindness and love. 33-year-old Rebecca Okumolo, mother of two and a nursing graduate, was hurt in a crush at the O2 Academy in Brixton on Thursday night. Two other women remain in a critical condition. Simon Jones reports. Strictly Come Dancing had its big finale last night. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, if you were planning on watching it this morning, you haven't looked on social media, you don't want to know who won, you know what to do. Uh, but for the rest of us, here's our media and arts correspondent David Silito with a round-up of a spectacular night. Adrian Childs during the last Christmas she was, special. She was. That was the, that was She's the gone first. up a level. So that, that was the first... <laughs> <laughs> and I love Agent. Yeah, I was going to say, you know you him, you can say agent. that, can't you? Yeah. That, that was the first time all four of those pros had made the final, wasn't yeah, that's it, right. I think, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. great for them as well. Uh, great stories all round, actually. Yeah. It was absolutely brilliant last night. Good, good. Right, should we take a look at the weather then? This cold spell is gradually coming to an... Good news. Matt, thank you very much indeed. Don't go too far. We're going to talk to your namesake in a moment about a different oh, matter. Yes, OK. Another Matthew Taylor on the we'll programme. Because, as we've been hearing, it's going to be another very difficult week for the NHS with more strikes planned. On I was speaking to someone who works in the ambulance um, sector just a, yesterday, in fact, and they were saying they're still getting calls from people who do not really need to be calling 999 mm -hmm. at all. So there is still going to be that issue there. But nonetheless, the, 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 um, a senior official from NHS England, Sir Jim Mackey, has said that the strike action by ambulance teams in particular represents a completely different order of magnitude of risk compared to nurses' strikes. So they are really worried about the impact mm -hmm. of all of this so yeah just be very i suppose wary over the next few days um <laughs> just uh, two of the strikes the nurses and the uh, ambulance workers you can find out more about all of the december strikes including a full run Now, the use of hydrotherapy to cure physical ailments has been around for thousands of years, but there's a new twist. It's now being given to a cow. She's a calf called Bunny, and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, she's getting the treatment in a water tank at Harper Adams University in Shropshire, and David Gregory Kumar has been to uh, see her in action. Oh, that's really sweet. There you go. It's the kind of story we need on a morning <laughs> like this. Um, I'm not sure there'll be any uh, cows having hydrotherapy on uh, Laura Koonsberg's programme this morning. Uh, she's on here on BBC One at 